not come across as inadvertent was the Joker and Markeith Morris. They got into it earlier this week as well. Joker suspended one game. Uh, Markeith Morris, according to Ira Winderman, out tonight and Monday against OKC with a whiplash injury sustained in the altercation. So, Stan, what do you make of the league suspending the Joker on this play and fining Markeith? Yeah, look, I, I almost – I'm afraid to go there because I don't want to hear it. Two of the people that I like most in the NBA, Eric Spolstra and Markeith's brother Marcus, are going to disagree with me on this. And I don't want to piss them off, quite honestly. But look, to me, that's not just a take foul. That was a cheap shot by Markeith. He blindsided him. And then Jokic came back and got him in the back, but he didn't throw a punch. To me, their punishments at the worst, should have been equal, if not more for Markeith. To me, if you're going to suspend Jokic, you've got to suspend Markeith. That's not the way the league saw it. Um, but I, I just don't like it when the instigator gets less of a punishment than the guy who retaliates. You no know, follow-up with you here on that, because you say Markeith as the instigator um, for the, I guess, the shove that he threw to Jokic underneath his uh, shoulders into his ribcage. For some, if you, you just see the clip of Jokic hitting Markeith, who had his head turned, you would think that Jokic is the instigator. So explain the difference there as far as, you know, a basketball player with the ball above his head defenseless. Yeah, but, but the thing is, that wasn't just a take foul. If you're a take foul, you slap the guy or you wrap him up. He came on his blind side. Like, one of the things that sort of amused me is saying, oh, wow, Jokic hit him in the back. It would have been different if he was face-to-face. -face. Well, Markeith didn't go face-to-face with Jokic either, you know. He, and also, I think you've got to have the context of what's going on. Miami, frustrating night. Denver beats them in there. You're at the end of the game. It's a frustration foul. That's not a take foul. That's not a take foul. And Jokic retaliated. To me, yeah, it's a hard foul. He shouldn't have done it. I'm not saying that. But, heck, he could have punched him, and he didn't. I, I just thought, at the worst, their punishment should have been the same if not more for Markeith. But I know I'm in the minority on that, and I know I'm going to piss off some guys I like very, very much.